Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the tool the conical bend which is coming under the bending section in the generated shade metal workbench in Kitty Heavy 5. So this is a conical bend and conical bends are used when we have to create bendings in between the sheet metal components. See if I just delete this sheet metal component you can see that two profiles are there two sheet metal components are there so in between we need to create a bend so before when I explained the cylindrical bend there was a limitation in that that you cannot uh, use more than the radius which you have specified in the sheet metal parameters so in this uh, conical bend that particular that particular uh, limitation is being overcome so if I just go over here bending and conical bend if I select the two supports I can specify the radius as I want so as I specify the left radius as 6 and the right as 4 so you can see that uh, both radius have been created now let's see let me increase the radius both as 6 and you get the normal cylindrical bend with a variable radius so previously the limitation was that uh, you cannot uh, so, you know you cannot uh, create a cylindrical bend in the cylindrical uh, bend option because of the frozen option which is uh, related to the sheet metal parameters so this is being overcome this time and the basic thing which I want you to understand is how you can apply the cylindrical uh, the conical bend which is already created here so I hope you understood this tutorial and I hope uh, I didn't confuse you by uh, relating it to the previous option and if you have any doubts you can comment below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you if you have any CAD related projects you can write to me at ketsia.proroduser at gmail.com and you can also follow me at the blog that is www.cadmadeeasy.blogspot.in that's all for uh, this uh, this part of the tutorial I hope you enjoyed and if you have any tutorial suggestions you can uh, you know you can uh, ask me you can comment or you can somehow let me know about the uh, uh, tutorial suggestion you have and I'll be trying to create a tutorial on that thank you so much and stay tuned